Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are the important love messages for you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Okay Pisces, spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Pisces today. Show me more. Seven of Swords is in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, somebody whom could have hurt you very terribly here. Three, three of Swords in an upright position is going to try and reach out to you with the Six of Cups here in hopes that both of you could repair this connection. The Tower here in reverse. Um, this may indicate somebody wanting to undo the damages that they may have done to this connection or to avoid a permanent ending, okay? Could be either or, Pisces, I'm reading for the general, so just take what resonates with you. We've got the Six of Cups. This may indicate somebody returning from your past or it could indicate a soulmate con soulmate connection. And also we've got the Eight of Pentacles here. Somebody could be returning and asking to work things out with you or to... Um, or, try, or to try and get some attention from you. That's definitely what I'm getting here. Some of you, it's a love affair and a work affair at the same time. I don't know. That's just for some of you. Work and love. Maybe you'll be meeting this person while you're working. Uh, if this is somebody completely new. And all this could also be somebody from your past. You may have met this person while you're working. That's another uh, message that I'm getting here. However, we've got the nine of wands here. When somebody here, it could be you or this person. It can be reversed, okay? But somebody here definitely has their guards up. Considering that they have been hurt here. So, when somebody tries to return, this person may be very serious with the king of swords here. Whether it's you or this person, right? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. This person may say no. Or that someone is thinking about returning but they're afraid to reach out because they're afraid somebody is going to say no or going to cut them off or not going to give them a time of a day, okay? So we've got the eight of swords here in reverse and the queen of cups. This is actually your energy, Queen of Cups. Perhaps you still have uh, feelings for this person or it could go vice versa. Maybe, maybe this person still has feelings for you. But not actually showing it because King of Swords can be quite a cold king. Um, or perhaps that could be their strategy and trying to remain cool and calm. Not to show their weakness or... Again, it could be a plan. Somebody could be planning to return, right? I know some of you may not want to listen to a reading in regards to a past person but i can't help but see it so if it doesn't apply to you perhaps this is not the reading for you however i just feel that if this has nothing to do with somebody from your past returning it could be somebody whom could be like a soulmate you may meet this person while you're working right and with the star here perhaps you could have been hurt in the past so you are going to be extra careful or this person will be extra careful and return um when it comes to love okay but eventually i feel like with the eight of swords here and whatever someone is going to put their guards down okay and we'll take a chance i do see that take a chance in love some of you maybe there's a second chance in love could be you loving somebody somebody loving you or it could be mutual i'm sensing it could be mutual but one person will have to make the offer first i definitely see that uh let's see more pisces Got the Four of Cups here, some dissatisfaction or boredom when it comes to a certain person. Or somebody is upset with somebody because maybe this person was being... Um, somebody's true colors have been revealed, okay? Whatever the true colors could have been, it could be lying, cheating, or anything, okay? Just being deceitful in some way, shape, or form. I feel like it could have broken your heart or vice versa. And... Eight of Pentacles is actually encouraging you to focus on your work right now. Whatever you need to work on right now, that's very important to you. Whether it's making more money or building, um, building a business or just working for somebody. Whatever you're working on right now, okay? Uh, Eight of Pentacles is definitely encouraging you to focus on your work, build something for yourself. Uh, instead of focusing on love, I definitely see that too. <clears throat> because the love love will come love will come when when it happens it happens all right but it does look like there could be somebody here who may love you uh sincerely or genuinely ten of wands here is in love first and also we got the king of cups in love first somebody is dissatisfied they could have pulled back from you know investing emotionally on this connection not wanting to carry the burden anymore but let's see more 
But yeah, you could have been dealing with somebody who could have lied to you with the Knight of Swords here in reverse. Or perhaps if it's not lying, maybe both of you are not speaking to each other right now. But do send somebody wanting to open up communication with the two of swords here in reverse and truly express how they feel about you or just wanting some sort of either a closure or to heal this connection with you okay to return and possibly work on this connection it could be either or so we've got the page of wands here in reverse this is uh, a fire sign you could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, High Priestess and the Page of Pentacles here there's somebody again whom you're not speaking with it just feels like this person quietly could be spying on you or that they could be interested in you but may not be talking about it may keeping it to themselves okay but i feel like this person is going to reach out eventually with a page of pentacles here going to message you or call you or talk to you in regards to how they feel or what they would like to offer to you pisces we've also got the king of pentacles and the emperor here it feels like also for some of you if somebody has mistreated you in the past lied to you cheated on you this person would like to step up okay they could be working on themselves again that's definitely what i'm seeing here stepping up from the king of pentacles to becoming the emperor here being a more um, responsible partner or if they were not doing well financially i feel like they are focusing on their work and trying to build something important here okay um when it comes to their work or career or business let's see more pisces So I do see that with the Ten of Swords here, you are separated from this person, but definitely there is an energy of somebody wanting to return. But Spirit saying with the Seven of Wands here, perhaps to protect yourself from getting hurt by this person again, feels like they did hurt you, right? And with the Five of Swords here, you could be dealing with somebody who could be very manipulative or they could play mind games. Or for Five of Swords also can indicate somebody wondering if they should fight for this connection or let it go and with the eight of cups here spirit saying to move on from somebody whom you may know or feel that they could be playing games or that uh maybe it's not worth fighting for that's definitely what i'm getting here protect your heart for sure seven of wands here and focus on your work eight of pentacles very very important some of you just on a uh, just a side note uh you may either go someplace else move to someplace else or return to where you came from to to work i don't know <laughs> that's very random it's just for some of you i'm just seeing that um a quick message over there but i do see for sure with the star here indicates your wish is gonna come true pisces if it's to meet somebody new or if it's to reconcile with somebody feels like that is going to happen but um with the queen of cups also i feel like perhaps this may indicate opening up your heart chakra okay i do see it as like opening up your heart and be when you open your heart you are more able to receive love or to give love right so uh, spirit is also saying to not overthink things just focus on your work and again it feels like when love comes it comes just have hope and faith the star here that it's going to happen and for those of you if you are yearning for someone from your past to return spirit says just focus on yourself and again when they return they return but by the time they return you may or may not be interested anymore right pisces so first and foremost you got to love yourself first with the star here your well-being is paramount is paramount is the most important thing right now for you and i feel like with the high priestess here the emperor it could indicate you bossing up as well becoming uh, more successful okay financially or even as a person feels like it's already in the cards it's destined it's fate and you just have to hang in there and just focus that's that's definitely what i'm getting here you need to focus um i'm sorry to say on your work <laughs> you're a water sign perhaps i don't know but as an earth sign and virgo to me work is very important to me being able to build my future is very important being independent is very important i feel like perhaps if you're listening to this video right now spirits could be encouraging you to focus on your work right now and to build something for yourself rather than focusing on work current uh, rather than focusing on love currently all right pisces this is your reading i hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'd like to leave you with my latest video on the screen right now
For those of you who don't know, I do have a second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. I hope to see you over there. If not, it's fine too, Pisces. I hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading. I post your videos very often. And also, Pisces, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Send me an email and I will reply you with all of the necessary um, information in order to book a reading with me. All right, Pisces, take care. Bye.